We start with the global response to North Korea's latest provocation. The UN Security Council has spoken with one voice, strongly condemning the regime's recent ballistic missile launches. It says the launches were a grave violation of the nation's international obligations and vowed further action if the threats continue. Gonsoa has the details. The members of the Security Council strongly condemned the ballistic missile launches conducted by the Democratic People's Republic of Korea on 5 September 2016. It just took four hours for the UN Security Council to unanimously adopt a press statement against North Korea's recent violations, namely its launch on Monday of three medium-range ballistic missiles off its east coast. Issued after a closed-door emergency meeting Tuesday, the statement said all members were deeply concerned about the launches that were carried out in flagrant disregard of its demands. That China, North Korea's only major ally, did not hesitate in giving its prompt approval is said to be related to the timing of the provocation. This launch, which I would note took place while China was hosting the G20 summit, once again shows the DPRK's blatant disregard for its international obligations. The deputy chief of South Korea's mission to the UN said the international community should send a clear and unequivocal message to North Korea. If they continue to provoke and violent, violate the international commitment and uh, sanctions, they will face a much stronger and insurmountable uh, and, and significant countermeasures. The strong words mean North Korea could face even tougher punitive measures if it stays on its current path. The strongest UN sanctions to date were imposed on the regime after its fourth nuclear test in January. Tuesday's press statement was issued just 11 days after a statement on North Korea's submarine-launched ballistic missile test last month. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.